Generic greetings and welcome to Catch and Release. This is a VR fishing game. Just going to wait one more moment for most people to leave. And now it's just you and me. Okay, so this is a game where you basically just chillax on a boat. You will be able to uh, row around, move the boat. You will be casting, you'll be fishing. You have objectives. You will uh, sell the fish that you catch or release them based on their weight. And there's different baits to unlock and things like that. It's a game that I have some interest in because I've, I've done a fair amount of fishing in the past. Not so much in recent years, but uh, when I was a lot younger, I used to do a lot of sea fishing, pier fishing, beach fishing, go out uh, on boats as well. Not really done much river fishing, but um, I have done a bit of fly fishing. But uh, yeah, most of it, I'm sure I've completely forgot. All of the uh, muscle memory and stuff will have completely been uh, removed. But uh, I thought I'd give this a go because it, it, it marketed itself. There's, there's a lot of fishing games and certainly a couple for VR. But this one was one where it said, it's just just, just relax, just chill. As you can see, the radio says chill, although we can put it to, I believe, alternative rock. Um, although there's one, which was one here, where is it? I think this is catch and release radio. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Either way, as I said, uh, it marked itself as like a, a more uh, chill version, and I appreciate that, so I thought I'd give it a go, and um, this is it. So, if we look at our book here, we have a to-do list. To-do list, there are multiple fishing spots to find, Raw to the reed, okay. Catch three fish of any kind. Catch a quarrelark. Quarrelark? I think so. Hopefully, you. Uh, hopefully, not your proudest catch so far. Um. Don't really know. Either way, the reeds are. Well, I'm guessing those are the reed beds over there. So let's. Um. Let's get some rowing done here. And. And what I really like is that if you row really, really fast, like stupid. <laughs> <laughs> The speed you can get up is insane. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pull this forward. We'll just roll forward, because why not? Uh, hang on. Can we go do that and turn it faster? Oh, we can. Nice. Okay. So there's the reed beds over there. We're going to head forward, and then uh, we'll be able to cast over there as well. What I'll probably do is put the boat alongside, and I'll cast from left to right. There we go. I haven't played a lot of this game. I think I've played about 45 minutes, which is my general... Um, it's it's about the time I spend for um, previews and things like that, although this isn't any of that. It's just, um, well, it's just me um, playing the game and uh, uh, enjoying a beverage. Hang on, there is one beverage I've made. It's down here. Oh, hang on, I have found it. It apparently is underneath. God, why did I put it in a pint glass? There we go. Uh, so... Today's beverage is strawberry milkshake, but I don't know why I've put it in the pint glass, and I'm certainly going to kick that over. Anyway, it's also suboptimal, but when you're trying to, ow, uh, you know, drink it with a headset on. So, we need to cast over there. So, how do we do that? Well, we grab a rod. As you can see, we've got a Mark V garbage rod, and um, it's, well, it's it's probably a bit of basic rod. You got It's got bamboo, we've got the cork, um, handle and grip, and we've got... Um, a very, very rusty reel. But to be fair, you don't want to be using decent gear when you are uh, just learning. So as you can see, we've got a float with a hook there. Doing this is um, generally not classed as a good idea. Can we grab the float? We can't grab the float. So anyway, we um, need to put some bait on. So you can get different baits. So we've got cheese bait there. We've got all sorts of different things there. But we just have to catch, for this objective, the objective is to catch any th any three fish. Whoopsie. Uh, so any three fish. So we can use our, our lure here. So it looks like a bit of a grub or worm. Um, so we'll put that on there, hang on, there we go, and then we'll cast. So we can easily drop that if we need to, we can reel that in if we need to. See, <laughs> when I first played, I went to grab the line there and then flick over the, um, uh, I can't remember the, the name of the, 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 the metal bit there, like this, this, that's your spool and then you've got that there, the fo follower. Nah, either way. As I said, <laughs> I used to fish quite a bit, but uh, forgot that. So let's see if we can get it in that reed bed. So I'm going to just sort of move the boat a little bit here because there is some sort of, some semblance of skill to do with this. Um, I am left-handed, so um, I mean, I can cast from both sides. I can happily, happily use the rod from both sides, but still. So we'll drop it to about there, maybe. And what we'll do is we'll get a bit of a swing on like this. And then what we need to do is on the edge, when it's swung out, we'll cast it a, We'll cast it that a ways. And then um, hopefully this thing will go near the reed bed. So here we go. Let it out. And... Well, I managed to cast a bit too far and I've managed to get... Um, over there, so that's fine. I mean, to be fair, it's really, really 
close. So I can probably just do a just a cheeky one of these. Just a little flick over there. No, okay. I still haven't got the uh, the feeling of this one so far. So swing it and flick. Mm, that's not bad. See if we can drag it over there. No, okay. Try again. I think that would have probably done for the objective. Oh, there was a fish coming there. I think it was a red fin. Let's just go for it. Uh, landed there eventually. Oh, there we go. That's perfect. And we all we'll do is we'll just take some of the slack in. There we go. We can just put it in the rod rest if we really wanted to. You can get different rods. You can get, I believe it's a, it says a car, uh, is it carbon fiber or is it, uh, oh yeah, carbon rod and also re a red and gold. Oh, we've got a bite. So we'll grab the rod and immediately, normally what you do is you'd, you'd snatch it just to uh, set that in and then we'll start reeling in. So you have to watch out at the top there. And there you go. So we've got some light tension on there. The controller is vibrating. Um, so give us a, not just a visual indication, but a physical one to say that we are over straining that. And obviously what we want to do is we want to keep it taut, but not over taut. So we either snap the, snap the, uh, snap the line or the, uh, the hook comes out there. But we're just going to keep fighting the fish. Bit light tension there. You can hear it, hear it clinking. What I'll do is I'll knock that radio off. There we go. Just going to reel in a bit more. I'm gonna let the I'm letting the rod do the work. I'm not vigorously reeling in. There we are. A little bit more. That's it. And I don't think it's got too much fight in it now. Should be about done now. And there we go. We have a fish. And it's not like a bad one. Um, I reckon that's what. Three and a half foot long. It was this big. Sorry, I had to insert one generic unit of cliched angler reference. Um, I reckon that's about one and a half kilos. There you go. Not bad. That's um, just over one and a half kilos. One kilo, five hundred and fifty grams. What's that about? Maybe, maybe a foot long. Maybe. And pick up the fish. Just over a foot. That's not bad. Okay, we'll put it in the cool box. And there we go. It's called catch and release. You can release that if you uh, wanted to. Generally, you release the um, the little ones. There we go. Put that back on there. And just a little cheeky cast. Beautiful. Perfect. Um, give it a bit of slack. And then we'll put that back. So, other things you can do, which um, I won't be able to show you because I've run out of them. Sandwiches there. Uh, you can buy sandwiches, so you've got, uh, yeah, this sandwich there. Sandwich, you can buy a stone as well. I don't know why you want to buy a stone, but I like the little splashes. <laughs> Quite nice. Oh, hang on. We're on. We're on. There we go. There we go. It's running. It's running. Hang on. Right. That's all right. Keep it steady. Keep that in. I don't know what sort... I haven't played enough to... Um, see if fish have different characteristics so if some are better fighters than the others some of them tend to like jump out the water and snatch the line so you really have to release the tension uh and you know let it go i don't I haven't played enough to figure that out i would hope that is the case if they're all just the same sort of um if you all, if you have to if you if, if you can catch them the same sort of way i think that would be uh, a bit of a detriment really although this is a new fish i've never caught one of these whatever this is i'll have to get the guide out in a second and uh, it did seem to be pulling a lot more instead of being on off on off it was just always on one go but i don't know whether that's just um just randomness or not so we'll grab this thing here and good grief that is a beautiful fish that is a lovely fish mm. it looks surprised anyway what's that three kilos no it's a, it's only 1.6. That is though. Hang on. Um, it's one of those. A thuckian. Open waters and areas with high oxygen levels. Carnivorous and have been, have an amazing sense of smell. Advised to use maggots, worms and smelly baits. Well, that's why we have cheese. Um, yeah, I like the way that it shows you the different weights and things like that. That's pretty good. Although, it does populate this before we've before we've measured it. Look at that. That's 40 odd centimetres. Hang on, that shows you the money. Is it that one, then? Or is it that one? Oh, no. It's a crapsy. Yes, it's a crapsy. Yeah, that's better. Okay, put that in the box. Plunk.
And also, yes, uh, old Joe Scape from Local Fisherman. Mmm, <laughs> the legend of a fish. Right, okay, so we'll knock that up a little bit, and then we'll get one more cast on. Alright. You can actually import your own music as well, so I think I might uh, put a bit of smooth jazz on there, or some, uh, some classic rock later on. Okay, so we'll swing it out, and flick! Nice, not bad. And out again, and we'll put that back. Not bad at all. Yes, I would hope that um, the fish have different characteristics for catching them. Obviously, it does say that uh, in... Hang on, that's the wrong book. In here, that different fish have um, preferred baits, which, understandable, as well as um, places where they prefer to frequent. So, obviously, we've got this one here. Very common fish. This is the red tail. And that's another one. Um, yeah, here we go. What have we got? Um... It's a small one, and it's a runner. It's running around. Get some tension on that. Good grief, it's come right near the boat. That didn't fight at all. Um, ah. Ah, what's that then? That is... What it is is a beautiful fish. That's a lovely fish. Put that on there, though. Oh, no, that's far too small. Okay, we're going to release that one. There you go, mate. And we put it back to the river, we get some money back, and I hope it swam off. Okay, so missions, uh, we've caught all that. Excellent. Caught a, a Coralac. Was that one we just caught? Most commonly found shallow water in areas with lots of insects. Not any really special bait, behaviour is very similar to the Dubby. Hmm. Anyway, so, uh, do we have any more objectives? Um... There are multiple fishing spots. Row to the reeds. Do I have to just crash into the reeds? I mean, I'll do it if it wants me to do it. Let me just sell these first. There we go. And obviously, the money that you get, you will uh, be able to be able to uh, <laughs> um, the money you get, you'll be able to buy different things. I went to grab onto the line, then put it onto the first eye, and then tighten it up <laughs> so it doesn't swing into my face. Oh, good grief. Okay, so we'll give that a little bit of a row over there. Actually, we'll do. Uh, that one. No, hang on. Uh, hang on. It's like, can you rub your belly and tap your tummy type thing? There we go. Lined up. And power! Definitely the reeds. Doesn't mean them reeds. Probably means over there. Okay. So... Spinners round. Honestly, it's a good job there's no cam on me at the moment because it, it just looks like you're flailing your arms around like a maniac. <laughs> okay, forward, forward, forward. There are the reeds, surely. There we go. Yeah. There's the water tension, so if we go forward and we stick these in, it slows down. I don't know. Seems to, maybe. Uh-huh. Save road to the reeds. Right, look, I'm in the reeds, okay? Multiple fishing spots fi to find. Row to the reed. Is there a map? I mean... I've successfully done fishing, so I mean, what's the deal? Right, let's just... Okay. I'll tell you what. They're fairly reedy over there, so we're going to head that way. Okay, let's just get some speed on. Get the cardio. Got free cardio, so you know, there's all that in there. <laughs> the speed we're getting up to. Morning, neighbour! <laughs> just fly past at 40 knots. <laughs> oh yeah, this looks like... Yes, there we go. It said... Reed, but this is obviously called the reed. Okay, so let's just watch it wipe off like a Harry Potter thing. Unlocked Gazette article, Slackjaw's secret. Fish at the waterfall, new fishing spot, new fish, cat, uh, uh, Thukian. Uh, time to improve your skills, catch three fish. Waterfall, okay, the waterfall's over there. And I was about to show you the waterfall anyway, because I, uh, well, I wanted to see it myself, but I thought, yeah, I'll have a go over there. But now we have an objective. So, bonus. Right, let's just um, start getting this 
think aquaplaning. <laughs> yeah, I think it does. I think it does have water tension. Hang on. So if I do that, even forward, put the right one in. Mm, maybe not. I don't know. There's the waterfall. Obviously graphics, stylized, but nice and relaxing, nice and bright, brightly coloured, not over the top, not bad at all. Waterfall looks nice. Uh -huh. We'll get a bit closer, shall we? And there we go. Okay, so, catching fish. Uh, the Thukayan. So we'll go over to the that one there. So it says, like the open waters and areas of high oxygen levels. Well, there's going to be lots over there. So let's get a cast on there over there. So we'll just spin it round. And this is fairly open anyway. Uh, what does it say about bait? Does it say like smelly bait? Um, amazing sense of smell. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll get some cheese then. So one. Two. I'm stopping my cheese there. See, that's gone up to um, 199. That's because I had three bit, three free cheese baits um, from earlier on. So what we'll do is we'll get that there, drop the line a bit, get a bit of cheese, get our eye put out, and then we'll uh, see if we can get some cast on. So we'll do that and that and flick. Uh, it's fairly garbage, but whatever. We'll put it there and then we'll see what we can do. Now we're fishing. <laughs> There's a series uh, I've been watching actually as of the time of recording. It's um, Mortimer, Mortimer and Whitehouse uh, gone fishing. It's uh, Bob Mortimer and Paul Whitehouse, uh, two British comedians, and um, they both had serious heart operations, so they've decided to go fishing. And uh, I quite like it. It's <laughs> it's uh, relaxing and funny. Reminds me a bit of the Detectorist, which is also a fantastic show. Got the same sort of slow pace. So we're just waiting for this fish now. Um, I don't know if you can get any other things that are on the game. It doesn't look like you can. You can get different lures and different baits. Um, you can get something like sandwiches. So we can say, "Well, we'll grab a sandwich." There we go. And, mm -hmm, now we're fishing. Oh yes. Um, one thing I really, really appreciated. See if you buy a drink. So you can pop the can open. There you go. Mm, today's beverages. Uh, double vision. What is that? Beer? Rudd's beer. Okay. Uh, watch this. You get fined if you litter. Love it. Perfect. <laughs> really, really like that. <laughs> um, you've also got sun hats, different radios, cameras to take photos because there's different things you can spot around the place. Um, there is actually a, a thing in here, I believe, to, um, to show you what you've taking photos of yeah so there's your photos so a campsite and um, a kite and a bear and things like that so that's pretty good and then there's the uh, slack jaws big secret revealed so uh, yeah a little bit of a <laughs> sort of a hook there as well no pun intended I mean I'll take a pun you know no hook <laughs> I'm all alone anyway um, yeah it would be nice if you got um, you know like bait slingers and things like that and just other just other bits and bobs looks like we're not getting anything on here I mean do we be patient do we wait I don't know I don't know I mean it's a decent it's a decent cast might be a bit too hairy with it being around here though but I can see some some of the odd fish just swimming around here but it doesn't look like we're getting anything although there's one looks like it's gonna take it there we go we're on we're on that's it Bloody hell, it's, it's running. I'm going to have to let that out a bit because it'll snap the line. I really want to show you what happens when you snap it. Basically, it just goes, chick, and then your you, you thing comes back in. It's not as if you have to snap the line and um, tie another lure on or anything like that, or a new bait. There's also no simulation for uh, letting this go wrong and get a massive, horrible bird's nest around the spool, which I'm very thankful for. Because it is obviously on the relaxing side. It's not a full-on 100% simulation. That's going, that's deep, that one. It's it's running, it's going behind the boat. Yeah, I think we're about right now. Come on. Come on. I really want to grab it there as well and just go, get out of the water. Oh, that's pulling. I'm going to have to let that go a bit. It's fine. 
Hey! What have we got? Oh, oh, oh don't, oh, oh, that's horrible. Wherever you hold it, it sort of shakes around from there and I grabbed it. <laughs> oh, good grief, right, let's have a wear that. What we're up to then. Um, so that is the fish that we were looking for. So I don't know whether we looked out or we did the right thing. Um, it says we caught two. Uh, the this is one point this is one kilo six hundred and eighty grams and apparently that is the heaviest we've got. It also says it's thirty five centimeters, which is no. But either way, it was that big that can go in there, and uh, yeah, we have another mission. Um, catch three other fish. I mean, we could go we could go anywhere we want really. We could uh, go back over. Let's just go back from this because it's a bit loud. Let's just go about. Let's see if we can get it uh, get us hydroplaning. <laughs> <laughs> We're fine. <laughs> it's a relaxing experience when you're doing <laughs> about 40 knots backwards um, into into a mountain. That looks very nice. All the greenery in that. Say goodbye to the waterfall. You know we really want to go through there. Hang on. Uh, There we go. Lined up and power. We'll get an achievement, surely. This will be an achievement. This will probably be somewhere some fishing. There might be some fish under here because it's nice and calm, and it's um, it's fairly secluded as well. When I don't know what's around here, I've never been around this bit. Oh, there's like a fallen down tree there. There's something over there in the distance. There's all different things to experience, but that is a little bit of catch and release. It's a fairly relaxing fishing game. So, um, assuming there's anybody watching, I assume, well, you are, because you're still here somehow, um, <laughs> by all means, check the link out in the description if you want to give this one a go. I've always been... I've always been intrigued by uh, in, in trying a, a fishing game, a VR. I've always wanted to give it a go, but a lot of them... I've, uh, there's a couple of them with fairly bad reviews. A couple of them with other ones, they're saying they're all right, but they're more of a simulation. I know there's a couple of free-to-play ones as well. But this one was the one that um, stood out because it said, yeah, it's just a relaxing experience. Start as well, give it a go. So I thought, well, why not? And I did, and now it's now. And I quite like it indeed. Going to be playing some more. Um, we'll see if we can uh, catch some of the uh, other fish. Some will be more elusive than others. But yeah, there you go. That's a little bit of catch and release. If you have enjoyed it, then by all means, let me know in the comments. If you want to see more, same again. As always, thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.